Welcome back to the talk tonight. The race to represent CNY or Central New York is heating up. Polls show that Emory Burkle and Emma Fay are in a virtual dead heat. Representative Burkle's new DC Dan campaign just started airing in the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Dan Maffei shown as a political insider there and reminding voters that he gave his staff $200,000 in bonuses before he left office when he represented Congress. Meanwhile, the Democratic National Committee is also blasting Burkle and her support of plans to restructure Medicare and tax breaks for the wealthy. So, so the broad stroke brushes are out and there's paint flying and, and that's not the least of which that is flying right now. Uh, and a lot of money is being spent, and it's not money that was raised around here by any means. We don't have this kind of money here in central New York. Not at all. So let's see. D.C. Dan, at least for a second, we'll jump yep. in here. I'm Ann Marie Burkle, and I approve this message. Did you see that Dan Maffei is running for Congress again? D.C. Dan Maffei. DC here we have Dan. all the women of central Dan New Maffei. York. Maffei increased taxes by more than $2 trillion. Maffei voted for a budget that added $1.2 trillion to the deficit. They look so and sad, don't forget too, about don't the they? $200, they look like they live in, they look like they live in nice homes. After he yep. lost the election, uh, they live a suburban life. DC they relate to Anne Marie Burkle's constituents. Justin they are all white. All white. I'm Anne Marie Burkle and I approve this message. And she Did has coffee with Dan her friends and the older Congress people in her district again. all the time. DC right? Dan Maffei. It says, DC I am you DC if you're Dan Anne Marie Burkle Maffei and you're speaking to a woman. I, I think this is effective, though, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. DC Dan is clever, it's memorable. Yeah. And also, that was the big tag against him when he came to town, back to town, to run Matt Driscoll's campaign for mayor. Then he ran for office suddenly, as if he'd been here all along, and he really had been out of town for a long time. Although this, that goes back seven, eight years ago now, so he's been in our own backyard for a while. What, what do you think? Do you think that this is effective campaign? Well, work? you know, like you said, um, they're showing women. Um, they're showing people who I think a lot of women out there, or people in general, can maybe relate to. That's an ad for you. I mean, <laughs> right. truly. Yeah. I mean, as I look at that ad and I'm sitting next to you, I'm thinking that's an ad for Megan. So. And, and that's what they, they intend to do. I, guys, I mean, I have to be honest with you. Personally, I tune out. I really don't pay attention to these ads. Um, you know, you find they're just so negative. They, they go on the attack. And I don't know if people really want to hear about this. Yeah, well, that, that's they're another good point. Well, you're well. going to hear it. And let me, go to, let me go to our computer for a second before mm -hmm. we go to the other ad. We have, I, I'm not sure who paid for that one. Emory Burkle approved it. So I, I suspect it was her own campaign money that paid for DC Dan. But there's this new group here, Center for Individual Freedom. Yeah. They have just spent $345,000 on a media buy to oppose Dan Maffei. Mm. Now, Center for uh, Individual Freedom, this is their website. Obama's reign of terror is the first thing that comes mm -hmm. up. Uh, that's the type of image that's going to scroll through there with some other issues about increasing taxes, Obamacare. So you see where they're coming from. This is the kind of uh, independent group that does not have a direct connection to the campaign that's going to be spending hundreds of thousands and going to really make you sick of this race by the time it's over. All perfectly legal by the Supreme Court. Yes. But how much impact and do they have? How much influence where, do they have? Uh, well, you can't escape the ads. I mean, people will tell you, say, I ignore them, I tune them out. Uh, they work. They work. There's there's something about them that works. Because well, I guess they, they wouldn't be spending this money if they didn't work. Of course, to be yeah. fair, let's let's run a little bit yeah. now of the of the other ad too. I believe this one is anti Burkle, put together by. Well, we'll see. Let's take a look at this one. Only in Washington would this happen. Anne Marie Burkle voted to increase taxes on middle class families by fourteen hundred dollars. And where does the money go? To give millionaires a two hundred sixty-five thousand dollar tax cut. the same is the president's it's Paul Ryan's plan. Here. Middle and class Burkle being attacked. Voted for it. Uh, and Marie Burkle rich would people make the middle the class pay more. Uh, this so is all the stuff that Republicans and That's conservatives are in favor of, and, and everybody else. You, and this is from the DCC, uh, the Democratic Congressional right. Campaign Committee. And this is what which they is do also spending thousands, hundreds of thousands, to make their money go further. They produce one ad and insert in all of these different races Republican of the. The district. So it's Anne Marie Burkle here with her picture. You can YouTube these, you can find it on the DCC's website. Uh, all over the country, there are different images. Uh, representative whoever here. And right, Paul, it's, uh, and it's a Paul Ryan story. looks kind of goofy in that ad. Uh, one thing I'm surprised they did is they made Anne Marie Burkle look kind of pleasant and nice. And mm -hmm. usually the attack ads make them look dour. Either yeah. side, you know, uh, you know the, the brow is down, they're mean, they're angry. Either, either party. So. Well, you yeah. know, you're going to see more of these leading up uh, to the election a couple months to go. We'll I, I see like, if Anne Marie Burkle like takes a bad picture somewhere. I don't know. Maybe no one's turned one up. That may, that could be. She always looks perfectly fine on our air. She does. You're right, Michael. Good point. <laughs> Thank you for t participating tonight, yeah. Michael. Appreciate you stopping in.
just a casual thing. He just stops in every night, walks oh, yeah. over from the I'm CBS 5 studio. Well. <laughs> we like your comments, too. Join us on their Facebook page and our cnycentral.com website for the latest on our talk tonight.